Dorota Palicka International New Artisan Educator here and we are going to do a sculpted coffin shape so I have left quite a lot of nails this time just so you could guys really see it and the process like of swapping the hands and how to work on the clients I have cleaned the nail plate with the blue scrap and just to dehydrate it before I give it a couple scratches to it uh, so I'm just giving a couple scratches to the nail plate like making sure there is no shiny places left Also, you can make sure like uh, they are nice and clean underneath. Uh, you don't want uh, any bits and pieces of the nail um, or a dust to stuck in there because uh, that will uh, give you an issue even with the lasting time at the free edge. Uh, so always make sure like if your nail snap at this point, it could be because you've got quite a lot of dust in there and the product doesn't uh, attach well to the, um, to the free edge in there. So I'm just scratching there, removing the dust. Dehydrate again. It is all about the dehydration. Like if they dehydrate it properly, they are going to last nice and long time. And then we are going to use the sculpting forms. Uh, three, six. These ones are actually, I would say, pretty easy nails to apply the forms on. Uh, so normally we've got lots of trimming and. Um, and lots of um, fun applying the forms but uh, on those nails the forms goes on really nice and easy so I'm pre-pinching the forms in between my fingers and then we are going to apply it in so you can see it they are really nicely sliding underneath of the nails and then I can even pinch it stronger like to get a really nice and slim look. You could actually do those nails even without of, uh, pinching with the pinching clamp because uh, uh, the form goes on so nice and beautiful. But I always roll those form. If you do not roll the form, um, it is harder to apply it on and the shape of the nail is wider. Look, I'm squeezing here um, and then I'm start closing the form so it has a nice shape okay and then the last one on this hand okay once I've got it I'm start squeezing it I'm just checking if I'm 100% happy and if I am we are going to use an extra nail prep uh, so that's another nail dehydrator and the reason for it is during the form application we might touch the nails I need to wait for it to dry before I can apply the universal air bond so I've got time to apply the form maybe on the one nail because uh, basically I want to cook the first hand as soon as possible because this is a big time saver. Okay, so when my hand is drying, I've got time for another form. And then... This is dry, so universal air bond. If you've got client with the problematic nails, um, then you could apply the nail, um, universal air bond twice to get a better adhesion. Uh, I'm also quite proud of how those nails look after wearing the extensions for so many years. Um, I feel like the nail beds got much longer. Like, I mean, the nails are finishing right at the end of the uh, fingertip, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, and that's just like, they're not damaged. They feel nice and strong. And it's just confirming like that. Even if you wear the extensions for a long time and uh, they are done properly, uh, they wouldn't damage your uh, natural nails. How many years would it be? Gosh, seven, eight. Um, so... Yeah, Fiona is a client of me for the last seven, eight years. We actually lost the count, and um, her nails definitely got much better um, during this time. We are going to use the last white rose fiber gel to sculpt them nice. And 
I'm just grabbing my brush so in the meantime meal prep on those two so nice and thin scoop of the product like really nice and thin and then pick up a larger scoop so we can build up the free edge Okay, and you can see it at the place where the extension is um, starting I'm putting more product like I want this place to have quite a lot of product in there to give it its strength and so it doesn't snap and then I'm working the product through the letter M And it's also better if you do give yourself a little bit more product, like um, just so you've got some spare one on the sides for filing. Okay, then inside. So this hand is ready. Universal Airbond. And when the Universal Airbond is drying, I'm applying another form. So I have no waiting time, like I'm constantly doing something. concentration <laughs> okay I can feel Fiona was tapping in the lamp that means she felt it hot <laughs> remove it each time when, whenever you feel it you need to just remove it okay so let's cook her again <laughs> okay and we are going to do it same in here so nice and thin layer And I'm going to cure it only 30 seconds so we can actually remove the other hand so we can pinch it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just remove it. Perfect. And then we are sculpting another mule. Mm -hmm. and that's it. so this uh, finger is ready for a pinching clamp I mean to be honest we wouldn't have to because we have managed to apply the nail forms really nice and heat not sore no. okay. if you would feel it at any point just tell me okay <clears throat> then nice and thin Ideally, that's what I've got on my brush is wrong, like because I've got product from both sides. So you want to clean it and make sure you've got product only on the one side of your brush. Um, this way it's much easier to control the product and uh, you get neater application as well. Okay, so those large scoop of the product. And then we are building up the free edge. The longer time you spend on the gel application, the less filing you are going to have um, and the neater you are going to work. So I'm trying to maybe not perfect it like 100%, but just touch up so I don't have as much of the filing. Mm -hmm. Change. Okay, I'm grabbing another pinching clamp. And universal air bond. Pick up the scoop. Is that what you get? Yeah. I don't know if it's the same as um Is it the wrong plus size? Yeah, that's what it has like the gel polish. Oh right, um, I don't know what the difference is. 
and it just it really lasted a lot longer than it. Yeah, fiber gel is awesome. <laughs> oh, so good. Okay, so just to the letter M. Change. Mm -hmm. Okay, release the pinching clamp from this nail and apply on the next one. Switch off the lamp for Fiona so she doesn't <laughs> feel it. Yeah, but I wanted to show you, like, quite often I show you on maybe on one or two nails, so I wanted to show you on more nails just so you can... Um, see the actual process of swapping the hands and like how you could save the time as well because in a sound time is pretty important we don't want to make them too long uh, just so they're nice and comfy but also so they look Decent for a coffin ship. Change. Okay. Actually, to make the life easier for my client, I'm start pulling the forms down as well. And the last nail here. Beats and scoop. Because actually removing this set and uh, when you cut those nails, you can see it like how thick they are in the middle. So they look really nice and thin, but in the middle there is uh, lots of product, like all the structure is, is there. And that's what I love about um, like when doing a new sets and when sculpting the nails that we can play. Uh, with the shape um, by making it like optically looking smaller change and it's also due to the form application as well like I like to place my forms nice and straight uh, so I can really um, have more product on those area there okay now I need to direct my client finger down the way just so it's easier for me to build up the apex okay so i'm applying a nice and thin layer like making sure the entire nail is covered if you need to you could pick up another extra scoop and just touch up some more places and at this point i've got enough product around my cuticle area um like i don't need any more and i've got enough product at my sides i've got enough product at my free edge so i'm really concentrating on building up the apex and what i'm doing is i have picked up a really large scoop of the product on my, one side of my brush try to release from your brush and then we are peeling it down don't go too close to the side because by the time you reach the free edge the product is going to be on the sides on its own And then just touch it up. Okay, change. So I can pull the rest of the forms. Nice and thin. Like make sure there is no gaps. And a scoop of the product. And I'm trying to don't go back with my brush. So I'm working all the way through the free edge. All the way down. It's not ready yet. Almost there. Change. So 
same on this one so I'm pulling the new folds really down so I can reach all the sides and then the scoop oh, that's too small I mean look from the side view I will try to go side view a little bit as well how thick this is This is almost like doing a um, reverse French, so I'm kind of doing those kind of shape and then I'm just blending the extra product which is on the sides to achieve my shape change. And I find that this is the easiest way to apply the product, like definitely the easiest way. Not sore. Mm -hmm. What you could do is like if you just start playing with the nails, um, do some exercise. So like place some product in the middle of the nail and don't touch it too much with your brush. Just um, direct the finger into different direction to see that you actually need the brush just to help your product. So uh, I'm quite often like working with the finger as well to get the product into right place change. And I will try to show you that here. Now I'll try to show you that in here. This is a really great way uh, to teach um, a beginner how to build up the apex and that you cannot overwork the gel as well. Okay, so let's let's try it. <laughs> like leave this scoop in there, just like this. Okay, we can see it guys how misshaped it is. And then by keeping the finger down the way and just helping this product run a little bit into the right places like almost not touching it see I'm almost not touching it and the gravity does the job so like uh, try to do not overwork your product I mean, obviously this will take longer time because you need to wait for this product to fall into these places. And when my, my application, like I'm trying to do it straight away, but look how nice it is, change. And you don't get those holes on the top. You don't get like an uneven surface. Um, so really, mm, it's a really great way of learning how to, uh, how to apply the... Uh, apply the product like and I hardly recommend it guys uh, for you to trying this uh, technique like because uh, it's definitely much easier with the shaping so I'm just applying another scoop on this nail and then we can swap the hands and I will show you the filing so one side other side so you can see it I'm just helping the product to move in touch up okay and then when i'm happy we are going to swap it and shape it change okay that's the first one cooked so i'm just going to use the uv cleanser to remove the inhibition layer and then we can shape them do not over file too long in a one space so what i like to do is i like to file one side other side, one side, other side. So I would file one side, other side. And you can already see how much nicer the shape is. Shorten the free edge. Thank you. 
blend around the cuticle area So I like to also for a coffin shape, I like to kind of um, file on the side, like to the top. Uh, I feel like this way the needle has nicer shape as well. And then check the hairline just to make sure the needles are nice and smooth. And move on into the next needle. Again, file on the side so the nails are nice and slim. And then smooth on the hairline. That's the one where I showing you the how the gravity works and honestly if you are a person which is overworking the product like try it this way to see how the product is going to behave it will really make a big change in your work I was a beginner once as well like and um, I was trying to figure it out the ways like how to speed up my work, how to get the shaping better, product applications and those kind of tricks definitely did help me quite a lot. Okay, so I just check them. I could still play a little bit more with the shape just so it's nicer. And then grab the buffer I'm going to use a different buffer so So 
so I'm going back with the file because I can see it I could do a little bit slimmer look Okay, and I put first nail ready. Next one. So in the middle I can uh, file much faster and then I'm, when I'm reaching the corners I'm slowing down. You really want to blend this area just so the nails are going to last a really nice and long time. And then do the same on the other hand. File the free edge. You can see it when I'm filing and when I'm filing pretty quick um, I'm holding a client nail so I'm supporting it from underneath and I'm also holding it from the top as well you don't want to file the nail fast without a folding because then it might be really painful so even now um, my thumb is holding the natural meal. I'm checking the shape, how they look, the length. And then leave it alone. So here I'm holding with two fingers on the top. And here I'm ho holding with my thumb.
and you probably guys know coffin is my favorite shape to do it um, but I'm actually planning to show you some other shapes as well like I think a nice almond shape video as well so Okay, remove the dust check the shaping so I know where to file as well and do the buffer so I want to taper this one And then we can take a nice thumbnail picture with those bare sets uh, and do another tutorial on a beautiful design and for a we are going for a black and white uh, so you'll need to check this video on this design as well now let me quickly buff it So that's how I'm sculpting a full set of the sculpted nails. I hope you find it, this tutorial useful. So I really like this buffer because I can get uh, really into uh, the cuticle area without of worrying. I'm going to hurt the, uh, hurt the client. So you can see it how much nicer it is once they buff. If it's necessary, touch up with the file again. So that's the set which we have created uh, today and I'm sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now.